Hey guys, welcome to the Kersner Testing Lab, otherwise known as my dining room. I'm here with uh, Supervisor Momo, right here, to ensure quality standards. And we're looking at the Alienware 13 laptop, gaming laptop, and the Alienware graphics amplifier. And I'm going to show you guys how they work together and some of the features. Now, first of all, the Alienware graphics amplifier is an external power supply that allows you to include your own video card, either AMD or NVIDIA, and it pops open fairly simply. I'm going to show you. It's a bit like an like a airplane hanger or spaceship thing. It does take a bit of fiddling to get open, but once it does, you can see it's a fairly simple concept. It's just your power supply here and your, your GPU here, and it, it's only a few wires. It's your power supply and then your, you know, you know, your connection to the, um, the external video port. And then there's a fan. It has its own fan in the back. And uh, thanks to Supervisor Momo, I can confirm that it is very good at straining the pet hair out of the air before it goes in the system. Uh, we have been working very hard to make sure this is a pet friendly system. So once you put your own video card in here, yes, you do need to supply your own video card. It doesn't come with it because the entire point is that it's adaptable. Apparently the power supply can also swap out if you want to go like more of everything. But then you close it up. And then it's really simple to connect to the Alienware 13. Apparently the 15 inch model also uh, runs with that, but it's a, it's a proprietary PCI connector. The reason they went with this apparently is because Thunderbolt 3 has some uh, bandwidth interference, so they claim. Um, but it just goes in there and it locks in really good and tight, which is nice. Like I'm yanking on this pretty, don't make this dirty. But um, it does hold in, which is good because this is basically replacing the video card in the computer. It comes with an NVIDIA 960 standard on this machine. So obviously that's sort of, you know, that's your starter, your starter model. You want to boost it. You want to go up to a Titan or anything like that. Um, the 980 was just what they sent me. But it's just two wires like that. The computer has to be off again because you are basically rerouting the video card and power supply to this sucker. But then it turns on based on the computer. You hear that? The fan kicked in when I turned the machine on, which is very, very cool. Um, one thing I do want to warn people, it's not a full hub. It does allow you to run some external monitors, which is very cool right out of this, but it's not a full audio video hub. Your audio comes out of the Alienware 13, which is awesome because the onboard speakers on this sucker are pretty amazing. Uh, you guys may have seen my other review with the Asus laptop, which is a really good machine, but the one, you know, thing I didn't like about it was the speakers on the Asus machine. The speakers, the onboard speakers here are amazing. It's good clear sound. Um, I'll fire up Steam for you guys just to see a little bit. I'm going to hide the screen because no, you monkeys cannot see my screen name. Look at the alien. What's going on? Did I bugger something up? No, it's just playing tricks on me. Curse you, Windows 8. Oh, no, here we go. It was just faking me out. How, how do you think, Supervisor Momo? So far, so good? OK, he's kind of like Snorlax. If he wakes up, worry. If he's still sleeping, everything's chill. And of course, we get our predictable pop-up ad with this. We'll go to my library, games. The last game, I was testing out Skystein's Bedlam on this. So you get to see the screen. The, the, you know, the colors and the light are great. You hear those speakers? Those are awesome laptop speakers. Out of it here. I'll put my boobs closer to it so you can hear it. Those are really, really impressive onboard speakers for a gaming machine. The only thing I don't like about the machine, well, let's talk about more like slightly, um, I wouldn't say rubberized, but there's a slight texture on the keyboard that stops your fingers from slipping. This is the, the i7 processor model. There is an i5, but they sent me the i7. Touchpad's nice. The only thing I don't like about the machine is this lip right here. It's the one thing where they took form over function and I mean, that's a, that's a hard edge. 
So if you're going to be gaming on this a lot, not using an external keyboard, uh, I, I would suggest an external mouse on this thing at the very least, because resting your hand on this to use the touchpad, it hurts after not that long. So that's the only sort of design issue. Otherwise, I have been running the snot out of this thing and the copper heat sink works really, really well. I mean, the nice thing is this is allowing a lot of the heat to not even be in the machine, which is one of the nice things about this. But all told, you're talking about a little bit more than a desktop machine. So, I mean, this machine is about $1,499. I think they said that's $1,499. Uh, that's give or take. Obviously, there's customizable and there's some features that affect the price. I think they start at $1,299. If it's wrong, I will put it in the comments. I'm doing this from memory. This machine without the video card is $349. These are all Canadian prices, guys, which is why they're higher. Um, they are lower in the US. But the benefit of this machine is portability. You can have your basic good on the go. It's super light, 13 inch or if you wish, 15 inch laptop. But then if you really want that full gaming experience or you know, you're like me, you do minor video editing on your machine, you do capture for an, another thing, whether it be a console or another PC, that's where you're gonna want the power. And that's where you're gonna want the souped up power supply, all your heat's external. And if something goes boom, your main laptop's still protected. So portability and obviously upgradability are the two big functions if you've got the money to burn and want to splurge. Obviously, that's a little bit pricey, but for someone like me who takes my laptop everywhere and needs it to be portable, it's either that or two completely different single purpose machines instead of an all-in-one with an add-on. So hopefully that gives you guys a bit of a look into what Alienware has cooked up and it's super awesome little product. But it bites. Love hurts. Love her. I can put a little bit of foam there, right? We need a little bit of Momo on the front of this machine, right? A little bit of softness, Momo? Yeah. What do you think, Mo?